Hi, I'm uh, Kevin Hambly, head volleyball coach at the University of Illinois. Um, Jim asked me to talk about how we write and structure practice, and we look at practice as a as a, a block, a training block. Uh, for right now, we're in our our preseason, so we have these training blocks of three days, uh, and we basically through the season we have the same. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then because we play Friday, Saturday, Thursday is more of a scout day. Uh, but especially this time of year, we're breaking it up. Uh, these three, we're on three days on, and then one day off, and we're doing two days. But we'll just kind of talk about our our team practice right now. Essentially how we write team practice is we do the same practice for all three days, essentially the same practice for all three days. The first day, which is what we just did, is uh, we look at it as a day where we're introducing things, uh, we're introducing concepts, techniques, drills, all those kind of things. Uh, and then we're also introducing, hey, here's the practice that we're gonna run for the next few days. And what, what I like about that is that when we enter into tomorrow, Instead of the learning curve being and what the drill is and what we're going to do and then trying to figure out, hey, how are we scoring this? How are we running this drill? How, you know, even, even how are we supposed to rotate through this drill? They're focused on what the folk, what we want in the drill, which is, hey, you know, we talk about this defensive drill. It's going to be picking up things, slowing the game down by looking at the right things, uh, picking up on different tempos, whatever it is, the focus. And so the learning curve goes away from learning the drills and it goes on to trying to develop skills and trying to develop systems. Every practice that we run, we, we start off with some kind of, uh, every team practice we run, we start off with some kind of com competitive thing. This week we're doing half court doubles. And so we'll do this every day. And this is essentially a drill where you're going to play, it's like King of the Beach on the AVP, where you're going to have these blocks of four. We have 16 players, which is nice. And they have these blocks of, of four, and one and four play versus two and three. Uh, and, th and then we got one and three versus two and four, and then we go one, two, three, four. We keep track of it. Whoever has the best score, whoever scored the most points, they either, let's say they're on this court, if EJ gets the most, she's moving up. If, you're, if you get the least, you're moving down. We reseed based on all that. So you have all this movement, and if, essentially throughout this week, kind of the cream will rise to the top, and then the, whatever, well, I mean, if, you're, if you're terrible, you gotta work your way down kind of to the, the dredges down here where it can get pretty bad. So. Kind of, they kind of separate themselves and it gets them in a competitive situation. And through this and all this competitive stuff, for the most part, we stay out of it. We want them to have some kind of free play. And then we go into just, always we go into our, some dynamic and then we do some shoulder exercises. And then we like to start off after we do some pepper series and kind of work through some things. We always go with defense. And then this can change, the rest of it can change, but we always end with uh, competitive, some kind of competitive com component at the end, a six for six kind of competitive component. And in that, like today we did this seven before, where it's just an FPSL free. This will change. This is the only thing that will change day to day. But we don't run a ton of stuff. We do maybe f 10 drills that we do in the six versus six. And they're all scored differently based on what we're trying to accomplish. This drill, we're trying to get really good at serve pass and kind of set play stuff. And we talked about that. But mostly we're going to end with that competitive. So I like that book end of competition. And the rest of it stays the same. So that we, and we're working on some kind of skill or system development and all of that and feel like doing it the, the same thing every day, well, again, the, the focus becomes on the skill or on the system instead of on what the drill is. The middle part, we'll keep, no, the middle part we definitely will keep the same. The only thing we'll change is we'll change. The next week it will change. The next week will change, yeah. All of this will change, everything will change, but whatever the middle part is, we'll do a different middle part, if you will, for the week, uh, but that won't change throughout the week. Neither will the, the, the initial drill. The only thing that will really change is this. I, we do it this way because I want to focus on skill development and system development, and I think it's the best way to do it. And on the first day, maybe things are slower, but we can be more thorough about the systems and, and the drill, the skills and the techniques that we want to do. So I like that because I feel like we're not, we're not rushed to teach it because we know we're going to have two more days of doing it at full, at full speed.